All right, good afternoon, guys. How's everyone going? This is uh, back with uh, James's car brakes. I want to go over uh, a quick point on these eBay standard envelopes. All right, <clears throat> now this is a big deal for anybody who's selling, uh, obviously, in the last month or two, the trading cards, sporting cards. Uh, eBay's come out with these um, standard envelopes, which, uh, like I said, Instead of having to send cards out uh, with first class mail and paying, you know, two seventy five to three dollars and change to send out a few cards, these standard envelopes are really like a, a great idea. I had a surgery on my hand the other day, so I just got this. Don't be off put by that, but I just want to get this video out because it's a big deal. Now, the biggest thing with the eBay standards envelopes is that. You can send out a regular envelope, a regular size, okay? There are parameters to these. So this is a regular, smaller size envelope, okay? It's like seven by four, I want, and then you have, of course, your larger envelopes, okay? So let's say you're sending out a card, and I have a couple basic cards here. Just a regular, just one card. It could be any, I just grabbed this it's a sporting card, okay? One or two cards, Basically, if it, it's under um, one ounce, it's 51 cents, okay? If it's under two ounces, it's 71 cents. And under three ounces, it is 91 cents, okay? The, but I can tell you the biggest problem with these things that I've had, um, I probably sent out a hundred of these envelopes in the past month or month and a half, is that the is no communication really between uh, eBay and the Postal Service. The Postal Service employees, when you drop these envelopes off, and instead of me printing one out, you know, you'll have your to and from and, and uh, who you're sending the envelope to. <clears throat> you drop these things off and it's a pre-made envelope and it'll say 51 cents up here. And, but they're non-machinable. When you put one of these cards, just one card here, and you put it in the envelope, and I'm going to show you how I do mine real quickly, okay, uh, in a moment. But they're non-machinable. So they're going to be all folded up like this, and you hand them in, and a lot of the... Um, uh, postal employees, you know, they'll sit here and try to bend it sometimes and, uh, you know, maybe give you a little grief. But the biggest thing is they don't know anything about the agreement as it, eBay has with the Postal Service, you know. Um, the last month or so, I've had, this has happened twice. That's why it's so important for me. I really wanted to get this uh, video out. The, the Postal Service has sent back customers cards in a bundle. I mean, I've had uh, six or eight come back to me wrapped in a rubber band and the postal service has actually stamped on each one postage due 20 cents you know 0 0.20 and all of those envelopes that i had sent out were all basically one or two cards and they were all under one ounce so you know what i had to do is grab a whole bunch of blank envelopes reprint the exact same labels bring them back to the post office and have them explain to them exactly what's going on. I actually brought in a copy of the eBay um, newsletter that everybody's probably gotten um, showing the 51 cents and the differences. And, you know, like I said, you have your parameters and everything. But that is the biggest problem that I've had with the post office is that they're really completely unaware of the agreement that eBay and the Postal Service is supposed to have. So I have been to maybe 15 different post offices in the general area that I'm in and um, had to explain to most of these postal employees uh, a two or three minute conversation of exactly what's going on. Now, <clears throat> what I have found that has helped, and now let me just show you something really quickly. <clears throat> there is no right or wrong way, so uh, I'm just going to show you how I basically do it. Usually what I do is I print out a, a packing slip for the customer and we'll just use it with one card, okay? Because when I send my cards out, you know, I don't want to have the sides too flexible so they get kind of messed up. So I'm just going to really show you. Usually what I'll do is I'll put a, I do put a little piece of a painter's tape around here. I really do not like putting regular tape. It's a, it's a big hassle and it's inconvenient. Then you got to try to cut it open and you don't want to damage the sports car that's in there. So what I use, I just take a little piece of painter's tape and just wrap it around the, the end. And then this is basically how I wrap every card that I send out. I just lay it in the paper like this, okay? I will take sometimes a little piece of regular tape, just a regular piece of scotch tape, and sometimes I'll just put it like right along the card, 
the edge of the card because that comes off real easily and the paper just to center it and I just kind of push it down and then what I'll do is and it works really easily um, you just keep it folded and I keep I, I put a crease in it See if I can get this in here so I don't bump the camera I just crease it then I fold it over I keep it kind of tight because when you drop these off at the post office you know you don't want to have I real smooth okay then I fold it over a third time and I put the creases in here and this is going to be significant because you will see how nicely it fits in this is the smaller envelope now you can do it with the larger envelope just like that if you're let's say you sell uh, four cards and you can take two of these uh, top loaders and just put them long ways next to each other and then they'll slide right into the envelope perfectly and you don't have a lot of room on the side so it doesn't get too bent up and it's really nice but in this case since we're using the smaller envelope let me get that card out of the way what I do is I just fold up the ends I already have it folded up I just fold up the ends like maybe about a an inch or so on both sides I keep it nice and smooth like so and then you have a something just like this and like I said it's just my way for doing it you know and it works pretty well but it fits into the envelope real nice and smooth and you don't have a lot of flexibility on the ends so the card doesn't move around and then I put two pieces of tape here I don't like to lick it you know what I mean with COVID and all that and then I'll put my label right on the front now this is the next number one big thing that I do with these envelopes if I'm taking one or if I'm taking 15 of them <clears throat> normally up here in this area is where your uh, stamp is because the whole when you print out your label whether you print it out on the uh, label um, the envelope itself or I usually cut it out and I just tape it on there but the stamp usually is up here in this corner <clears throat> 51 71 or 91 cents I always and I, I really encourage everyone to do this is ask the postal employee to put a date stamp on it and I'm gonna even write it here It's just a date stamp for today's date. So when I drop these envelopes off, I just tell the people, hey, listen, I appreciate it. I'm dropping these off. And they sometimes they will kind of look at them. But now I know most of the employees there. And I ask them, hey, can you do me a favor and just put a date stamp out on this thing? So what they'll do is they have a little uh, puncher. And they'll just push a little date stamp right in that corner. And it'll be that today's date, whatever day it is. And when your customer receives your envelope and then, you know, up here it'll be like two um, from your address and it'll have the tracking number, the ESUS number, the new uh, eBay standard envelope. It does come with a tracking number and it is tracked. Um, you will see not quite like a priority or a first class mail, but it will be tracked. Uh, it will say in route from here and out for delivery and delivered. So it is pretty efficient and it'll have a weird little barcode right here along the middle and the carrier when they actually drop these packages off to the uh, customer's house they have a handheld scanner and they will scan it and then that's how it's supposed to be but there are a lot of times because it is a new service that um unfortunately there are hiccups with the service and they're not always being scanned when they're being delivered i have had customers ask me hey where's the envelope and it just disappears into the wind for a week or two and it finally shows up um but because it's a new service and that's what I'm hopefully somebody from eBay sees this but there is not really a very good communication between eBay's uh, corporate team and the, the postal service and that's the biggest disconnect that I have and these things you know it even says in their um, information when they sent the email out back in like the beginning of February uh, as a top rated seller you know I mean I'm a top rated seller with an eBay store these things are supposed to be uploaded with a tracking number and an appropriate amount of time and um, it's not it's not supposed to ding you it's not supposed to penalize you for uh, as a top rated seller but it is and I had like 20 of these envelopes somehow just disappear into the breeze and even though they did show up at the customers um, home the tracking wasn't done the, the when you drop these things off at the post office they do not scan them like a regular first class or a priority mail item they do not scan them at all 
you just hand them to the employee and uh, they just put them in a box behind them and, and you know, keep, hey, have a great day. So there's no proof, honestly, that you drop them off at 10 o'clock in the morning. They might not get scanned into the system till the next day. And, and that's by some conveyor belt somewhere in, in the postal system. So it's been a big problem. And I hope that they can rectify that because I've had to file a couple grievances with eBay and to try to have them say that um, my tracking and stuff is not giving me a problem, which currently it is. So um, it's a great idea. I, I really do like the, the, the standard envelopes. I mean, you can send out a, a dollar or two card and it'll just charge your customer 51 cents. I, I mean, 71 cents. I mean, that's really all should, all they should be paying for that. And, and that's great. But uh, I'm hoping that the, along the way that eBay and the post office, they start to see how these things are working. They get a little more familiar with seeing it and, um, and, and things get a little more smooth. But uh, until then, like I said, uh, I would um, ask the postal employee, put a date stamp on it. You know, that, so when it does show up to your customer, you could say, Hey, I dropped this thing off. You paid for it on the fourth. I mailed it on the fifth and there's a date stamp saying, you know, whatever it is, March 5th, but it's not my fault that it arrived on, you know, April 1st or whatever the case is, you know, uh, so it kind of like protects you. And um, most of the cards, like I said, uh, you can always go to my eBay store. Uh, it's the collectible shop. You can uh, search seller pyramid three. And um, I hope that this really helps somebody out there. You, 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 Hey, if you guys have any questions or shoot me a comment down in the uh, feed there, I'll always try to get back to you. Uh, two thumbs up for everybody. Normally I would do it, but my thumb, like, I mean, my hand, I had surgery. So we'll be bing, bing, two thumbs up. All right. I, now, the other last thing before I go is I did do a submission to HGA for five cards, and I should get those back on this coming up Friday. It's a 10-day return, and then we're going to do a product review of HGA and go over the PSA and the Beckett uh, slabs together and do some comparisons and, and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm really excited to get those cards back, and I'm really freaking scared to get those cards back because... I've been seeing a lot of uh, uh, cards coming back, and I see they're a, they're a tougher grading company. Um, so I, I don't really mind it so much, but you know I have some really nice cards out there, and uh, I mean I'd like to get some really nice grades, you know. <laughs> so hey, everyone, I appreciate you coming by. If you like the video, if you like this kind of videos, uh, you know no normally I'm doing breaks and stuff like that. You know, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, send me a question or comment or whatever you guys want to do. And uh, stay safe, everybody, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.